I love to eat pasta and since we eat so much of pasta, I try to make it healthy and pack it with nutrition. Today, I'm going to show you how to make avocado pasta. This is the quickest and the healthiest pasta recipe. There are a variety of pastas available in the market. Corn, rice, multigrain, whole grain. Choose whichever healthy variety you prefer. I will be using corn and rice mini pasta. Let's cook the pasta. Here I have gluten free pasta made up of corn and rice. In a large vessel, let's add lots of water. Cover it and let it come to a boil. Now add in salt. Add our penne pasta. Stir it and cook for 10 to 15 minutes until the pasta is soft and well cooked. Pasta looks good. Let me drain it and I'll show you how it looks like. Let's make sauce for the pasta. For this, we will need two ripe avocados. Avocados are full of healthy goodness and are one of my favorite. It's also called makhan full or butter fruit. Cut the avocado into half, twist and open. Scoop out with a spoon. Same way, I'm going to scoop out the second avocado. Put it in a blender jar or food processor. Some garlic. Add some fresh green leaves. I will be using coriander or cilantro. You can also use parsley, basil or spinach as well. Fresh coriander or cilantro. Squeeze in a lemon. Pour in half a cup of pasta water. This will help in blending easily. Close the lid and blend it until it's smooth. Our sauce is ready, pasta is cooked, now let's assemble them together. In a bowl, let's add chopped tomatoes, sweet onion, extra virgin olive oil, salt and black pepper. Mix it. Next add the cooked pasta and the prepared avocado sauce. Mix nicely so that all the pasta are well coated with the sauce. Look at it, super creamy. Let's serve on a plate. Garnish with some black olives and sprinkle some red chili flakes. This is so yummy. With no cream, cheese or butter, this is the creamiest pasta ever. So refreshing to look at. This is a very quick lunch or dinner recipe and a very healthy pasta recipe for kids. Try it out and let me know if you liked it.
in a large vessel with oil water and lots of salt. Normally, fettuccine is used with alfredo. Fettuccine is flat noodles like pasta, but it's okay to use any kind of pasta you like. I'm going to use penne pasta here. Add pasta. This pasta has stripes so that the sauce sticks nicely. Cook at medium heat until the pasta has become soft. This looks perfect. Now I'll drain the excess water and keep this pasta aside. In a pan, take olive oil and then add onion, carrots and broccoli. Stir fry at high heat until the carrots are tender yet crunchy. Next, I'm going to add colorful bell peppers. This makes the pasta look attractive and healthy. Stir fry for another 2 minutes at high heat. Now, I'm going to saute the vegetables. It's not mandatory to use the same vegetables which I have taken. You can pick any vegetables of your choice. You can add corn, peas, spinach. See how beautifully it's roasted. Season with salt and add some olives. Toss it and then transfer into a bowl. Keep these vegetables aside and now I'm going to make the Alfredo vegetable for the white sauce. In the same pan, add olive oil, butter. I always add little oil so that the butter doesn't burn. Chopped garlic, saute for one minute. Next, all-purpose flour or manda. The butter in the flour should be of equal parts. Roast it until the raw smell of the flour is gone. Mix it nicely and roast for 2 to 3 minutes at low heat. Next, add little milk at a time and keep stirring and cooking. In this way, it doesn't form lumps. While mixing the milk, I would recommend using a whisk rather than a spatula so that there are no lumps. Add all of the milk and mix well. Next, add freshly grated nutmeg or jaffel. This gives a lovely aroma and flavor to the sauce. Whisk it continuously, don't stop or else it will start making lumps at the bottom. Season with salt, black pepper powder, chili flakes and Italian herbs. Give a nice mix and then add lots of cheese. Don't cut short on cheese because this is the ingredient which will take this pasta to its next level. Mix it. Now the cheese will melt and thicken the sauce. I like to add fresh cream. This enhances the flavor and gives a rich creamy texture to the sauce. You might be thinking how do we know that the sauce is ready. Put a spoon with the sauce and then make a line using a finger. Now if this line is stable, then our sauce is ready. Now add the roasted vegetables and the cooked pasta. Give a nice mix so that every pasta is coated with the sauce. Simmer at medium heat for 6 to 7 minutes. I'm going to tear in some fresh basil leaves. Toss it. And our Alfredo pasta is ready to serve. You might think this pasta is so fattening. But guys, the name says it all. It's Alfredo pasta. Milk, butter, cream and cheese. It's not something which you're gonna eat every day. But once in a while, it's so, so delicious.
recipe. Until then, bye bye.